First down and 20. Jalen Hurts without a fourth quarter comeback in his young career at home. He's done it twice in the NFL. This one is shot. Watkins a diving catch. Ball comes out. Commanders pick it up at the 15-yard line. And another takeaway by this Washington defense. Forrest comes away with it. And Quez does everything right. That ball is out. He doesn't get touched as he goes to the ground to make this catch. And then when he comes up, just good pursuit there on the backside, making a, a play. St. Juice is the one who knocks it loose. And this is a quiet stadium as Washington takes over at their own 27. Um, honestly, in the moment, you know, um, after the catch, kind of bounced right back up uh, off the fall or whatever. So it wasn't an instinct of just trying to make a play. Uh, when I caught it and I knew I was, you know, wasn't touched and I'll bounce right back up. I was just trying to, you know, get to the end zone and make a play. And um, after the play, you know, after the fumble, I just took it, you know, as me just trying to make a play. And um, I was just trying to, you know, get out there and, you know, make up for my mistakes. When, when you look at a guy like Quez, you know, obviously he had the fumble and everything, but do you kind of look past that and to the ability of him to get open deep down the field? Is yeah, that shoot, we'll never let a, a one play define somebody and we'll never let a play, you know, Quez is when he's been called upon this year, which hasn't been as much, right, because of AJ and, and Dallas and um, Devontae, you know, when he's been called upon, he's made plays. And, you know, he obviously had a big fumble this week in this game, and he knows that, and we'll work to fix that, and he'll work to fix that. But we got a lot of confidence in him. And when I tell you we have confidence in somebody, that's not like blind faith, right? There was all the reps that we've had in practice with him last year, every every rep this year where he's taken advantage of that opportunity. Um, he's just continued to put his head down and work. And so, again, that's what we say with the roles. Hey, this might be your role. This is what you need to do, but this role can change. As the year goes on and you got to be ready to excel in the role that you're called upon and how do you do that you just try to get better every single day so when your role increases you're ready to go honestly it's just the next play mentality i just keep moving forward play the next play uh because you know they're gonna love you when you make the play but they're gonna hate you when you don't so honestly i just try to make the play and i know when i do they're gonna love me again Earlier this week, the Eagles and Rappaport got Linval Joseph. Uh, they just signed another defensive tackle. Howie Roseman not sitting back after the Eagles' first loss of the season. The Birds general manager added a girthy defensive lineman for the second straight day. Welcome to Philadelphia and Dama Kinsu. The 35-year-old signed a one-year deal one day after the Birds added veteran nose tackle Linval Joseph. Neither guy has played this season, but both are big bodies that will be expected to add depth along a defensive line. And Dominic and Sue to Philadelphia. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm his bodyguard. All right, man, look. He ain't cool, he ain't, she ain't cool, he ain't cool. I know what he's cool. I know what he's cool. Thank you, thank you. I mean, those guys played a lot of ball uh, when I found out. Really trying to get them here was pretty exciting. They came in and went right to work, uh, and it means, you know, a lot. You know, we were banged up, uh, you know, in, in the d tackle room. So for those guys to be here and contribute was real special. I mean, after the team's first loss, we kind of just enter the same program, the process. You know, we always talk about focusing on the process, um, and that really just means you know, the way we practice, the way we attack the meetings, so attention to detail, uh, football IQ, knowing the situation. And so after a loss especially, we always double down on those fundamentals, the process, and you know, I think that's what we did this week. So far, it's been a great week. Hey, a couple quick hits here, man. Number one, we're obviously transitioned to a walk through Wednesday now. Now, what does that give us? Opportunity to get additional conditioning. You guys know your bodies. I trust you guys. You guys know what you need. We got one game this week. We got one Wednesday right now. We get better today. We get back to our process. Everything else it takes care of itself. I don't care if it's Jeff Saturday. We got Jalen Sunday. Let's go ball the out this week. Let's go.
you want to be the best in the world at something, it's about your detail. And details don't just automatically show up. You got to earn the right to be detailed. I, saw, I listen to the defensive meeting, right? What, you got to earn the right to pass rush. I love that, right? You got to earn the right to be detailed through your process through the week. We earn the right to be detailed tomorrow because of the way we went through everything. When you play with great detail, it allows your talent to shine. And it allows your teammates' talent to shine. 8.56 to go in the third. Fake the handoff. Ryan to throw. Protection breaks down and Ryan is smothered on the play. And Dominican Sue along with Linval Joseph, the two newest members of the Eagles, get home. How about paying off that acquisition? A Philadelphia's defense has kept them in the game. Without the defense, yep. the Eagles might be done here at the final stages of the third quarter. Instead, it's just 13-3. Trying to add to the Colts' lead. McLaughlin. It is no good. It got pushed to the right. Hey, we're getting out of this. One play at a time. Let's go. Second and ten. Hurts. Pulls the trigger. End zone. Touchdown. Quez Watkins. Philadelphia back in it. And we've got a three-point game. Good job. Wait a minute. Let's go. I'll see you too. Let's go. Let's go. Great job. Great job. Great job. Y'all forgive me now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. I love y'all. Let's go. You got to earn the ball. Break the pass rush. Let's go. You earned it. Let's go. Ryan. Looking. Ryan in trouble. He sacked. Back of the 19, Hassan Reddick. And this Eagles defense has done it again. They have kept their team in this ball game in a big way. Third and goal. Philly down by six. Hurts will run. Takes it in. Touchdown. Nothing in front of him except the end zone. Now the Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead. Now they say a star was born. I think a start was made today in Jalen Hurts. Indy still needs yards for a shot. Ryan is sacked. He got swallowed up at the 33. Brandon Graham. Big time play for Philadelphia. The Eagles rally. Nick Sirianni back to take on his former team. And the Eagles come from behind. Effort will end with a W. Hey! Welcome to Philly! Hey, it's okay to get emotional after one like that. It took all 60 minutes. Defense, great job. Great job, defense. They went down and drove the first time, and then it didn't, then nothing. Nothing. You earned the right to pass rush at the end right there. You guys did it the entire game. And we were behind the entire game until the f***ing end. Yes, until the end. Hey, I don't got a lot more to say. I'm pretty emotional. Great job. Happy for everyone in this room. That was a tough win. Go, go, go. Yeah. When you used to go? Let's go, Sherry. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. Hey, those guys mean a lot to me, but not even close to what you guys mean to me. This is a special group. This is a special group. Let's pray. I appreciate that, guys. Let's pray. Man, I'm, I'm thankful for them because, man, they kept us up all through the game. They had a great attitude through the game. It was cool to, you know, play with Sue and uh, LJ. And, man, these guys felt like, I mean, it was great pickups because they was great fits as far as personalities and just coming in, just want, want to maximize their role because coming in and being a starter where you was at before and just had to come in and be a role player, them guys still went out there and was effective. And so I'm just happy uh, to see. Did they get a half, both of them together? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, I feel like it was meant. And uh, LJ, he kept saying like, man, I was, just on the, I was just on my couch and man, I dreamed about this and man, look at this now. Like, I just feel like, you know, this was meant. And so it's just, it was cool, man, to see them guys come in and play right away and, and make some plays.
I feel like I'm playing more freely now because I know what my job is. My job is to go out there and not to sit back and be a force in the middle. They're not asking me to do too much right now, and I'm just going to take this role. I'm going to be the best at it. you feel at home with this team already? I know you've only been here a few days. Oh, there's no question I feel at home. Uh, like I said before, just being able to be welcomed like the guys uh, with open arms, it made it super easy, and I'm excited to be here. BG last week had a play at the end. It was unfortunate, and then he came back with a sack. You had a play in the last game. Redemption week, he came back. How special is that to see the way you guys respond? Honestly, it's a big relief. Uh, me and BG, we talked about it. You know, it's some, it's some we can't control, but you know, it's, it's part of the game. Things happen, and honestly, us both being able to come back and make a big play at the end of the game, it was, you know, it was the big relief for both of us. Going to the Coast game, I was hoping to make a big play to make up for, you know, last week's fumble. So when I when I did get the opportunity to make the big play to get us back in the game, uh, honestly, it was a big relief for me. And, uh, you know, we're human beings, we all make mistakes. And honestly, just having each other's back, that's the biggest thing. Uh, that's, that's the biggest thing for us to move forward. You can't move forward without letting go in the past. So that, that's what we try to do for each other is, you know, help each other move on and, you know, get that bad thought out of our head. Yeah, it's nice because right here sells the black. Other than that, we're gonna have you stand here, um, have a couple poses, I'll put you in. Yeah. We're gonna do the helmet, so helmet on the whole time, strapped up. Yeah, and when you're walking, you almost be like, don't feel uncomfortable, or we're gonna do a couple walking shots. Sure. Probably like five or six. So how you start back at the end zone. And three, two, one, walk. All the players have been waiting all year to actually wear these helmets. So uh, I think that's gonna bring a little bit more juice to the team, you know, having all black, having the black helmets too. I mean, I think it's sick because, you know, I got the dark visor. Um, so, you know, you got to see the black helmet with the tinted visor. Um, I think that, you know, it was a great combo and, um, and the guys are excited to put them on and go out there and play in the link. Guys, this time you have fun, do whatever you want. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Hurts stepping up, got away from the man who was policing him, and Hurts gets the first down and more. 36, Hurts design run takes off, easily the first down, Hurts on his way, first and goal for Philadelphia. The legs of Hurts on this opening drive. And oh, by the way, if you want to just go get physical, let's get physical up front here. Philadelphia Eagles, they have a lot of beef right up front. And so you can play the finesse game, and when it gets right down to nasty time, it can blow you off the ball, too. Hurts has a lot of space over here. Take it off. Anybody going to catch him? All the way down to the five-yard line. And number one just took off. He's got 100 rushing yards in the first quarter. And Sanders plowing his way forward and into the end zone for another touchdown. Rodgers dealing in the middle. Flag is down and the ball is caught by Christian Watson at the 11-yard line. Again, we have an injured Eagle as well. The Eagles athletic training staff looking at C.J. Gardner-Johnson, who leads the NFL in interceptions with six. And he has just been such an important part of this Eagles secondary. Watson left at the top alone. Rodgers going to go to the middle of the field. Look at it's intercepted. Red by Blankenship. Interception for the rookie. Can you believe it? The rookie free agent, Reed Blankenship, is going to fool him. And what a moment for him. Called on for injury. He was prepared. Rodgers in trouble. Got away from one, but not the second one. Josh Sweat with the big hit to close it down. Rodgers reading the movement of the Eagles. He's going to get sacked by Fletcher Cox. So this deep and talented and experienced Eagles front heard from on that drive. No, it's respect. You know, it's always respect when we see him. You know, obviously, you know, speak to him, respect each other. And, you know, obviously, you know, it's it's always um, just one of those things where, you know, you respect each other, but at the end of the day, you got a job to do. We go out and be competitive. Jones. Mm -hmm. Fletcher Cox says, okay, enough of that. One of the many veterans on this Eagles defensive front. That one's been here for a long time. 
He has been fantastic for his entire career. Second and ten, Hurts. Gonna try the other side this time. Coming back to get it for the touchdown. Wes Watkins. Oh, what a play. What a throw, what a catch, what a route, what a drive. That was something. Uh, since Dallas went down, you know, I knew I had to step up, and they kind of told me, you know, it's time for you to step up, you know, fill in the role, and honestly, just play ball, and that's really just what I wanted to do. I feel like the way we've always coached here and the way that the players attack every day has always been that next man up mentality. So regardless of what position it is, we're, we're quite deep, and the guy that's behind the guy uh, is always going to be ready because that's the way we prepare and just hungry dogs run faster. We all got a role on this team, right? We all talk about our role and how we can be a star in our role. One guy had such a big year for us last year and then we brought, a, we brought somebody in, we brought AJ in, right? And he had to take a little bit of a back seat but he kept affecting the game even when he wasn't having the stats that he should have had. In the last two or three games, he's made big time plays. And we're gonna keep needing him to make big time plays and we trust him to make big time plays. And he accepted his role, he starred in his role, and then his role changed and he starred in that quest. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing but smile. Um, you know, it was a, a big moment. Honestly, I was just happy, um, really kind of speechless. If I had to give a speech, I wouldn't know what to say, but I was just really, I was, I was happy and ecstatic for that moment. When it comes to Quez, um, he had a lesser role early in the season with AJ coming in, but now with Dallas, yeah. sort of those dominoes, just talk about his ability to, to step up in that role. It's been tremendous to see that. You know what? I think a guy like that, he's a big-time playmaker, and just the patience he's had. I, you know, I talked to him after the game, and I said, I, I really appreciate your patience because uh, I know, you know, guys want the football, and, you know, it's his time to step up, and he's been doing that. You know, that play at the end of half to get that touchdown was huge, you know, and we trust Quez in those situations to go up and get it, and Jalen made a heck of a throw, and it was a one-on-one -on -one matchup, uh, and he's continuing to make plays, and we got to keep doing that. Knowing that they could count on me, um, when guys go down and things not going our way, knowing that they can count on me for a spark or anything like that, you know, it's a big confidence booster. And they've been doing a, a great job with keeping me level-headed, keeping me motivated, and telling me, you know, my time is coming and me just being patient and just embracing these wins that we are getting and just having the love for the game. You the man I came to see? Both of us, yeah, Both yeah, yeah Mahal, man. Nice to meet you, Nice to meet you, AJ. Pleasure. How you doing? Dez, nice to meet yeah, you, man. man. Good to meet y'all. Please, oh, have a seat, sir. All right, let's see if we can pull your cleats. Oh, here we go. So who are you going with, man? Um, I don't have a foundation here, okay. but I want to do one locally. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, try to get in the movement of stopping gun violence. Okay. You know, and I want that to be like a part of my shoe. You know, I want right. to be kind of like, no, so I definitely want some splashes, you know. Okay. Um, so where Orange is, is an association that, that deals with gun violence, violence and Orange has been yeah. kind of associated with stopping gun violence. Mm -hmm. We can transition like a, maybe like an orange to red fade. Mm -hmm. I think that might be nice, if it, especially if it draws into like maybe a, a, a black in the back. So that way it really pops. And then in the front where we do the orange, we can deliver some sort of messaging, you know, stop gun violence. But we can make it really stand out. Would that be something you, that you would like, or are you picturing something different? Uh, I want I want to go with the black. So, okay. You know, so just stick with the orange then. Yeah, I stick with the orange. All right. So we can have that for you, and you know, do the statistics, do you know the hashtags, do the, oh obviously stop gun violence, have it prominent on there, but not not take away, not have it in a color that'll make the shoe look murky or muddy or too busy. Okay, you know? I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool yep. With that, uh, can we put a uh, spread love on the shoe? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Now, do you want that to pop more than anything else or right along the same kind of idea? No, nah, I want it to pop. Pop a little yeah. bit more? You got it. Cool. My initial plan was uh, to come in here, it was like a lime green. 
but you guys made a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, if you change your mind, no, 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 no. give I'm, us a call. I, I like this idea. I like where cool. it's going. Okay. Y'all yeah, 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 made mine quick. Uh, hey, yeah, that's, that's what we're appreciate here for, you, man. man. Appreciate you. Thanks, you have a great one, man. man. All right. Thank y'all. Pick of the Titans a couple years ago, but he was traded to the Eagles in the offseason, signed a big money deal. Needless to say, might be some emotions on the line here today. Well, of course, it's going to be an emotional game for A.J. Brown. How could it not be? He thought at one point he was going to play for Tennessee forever. Here's Hurts looking to throw, goes far side. There is A.J. Brown, makes his first catch against his former team. First down, blitz is coming. Hurts sees it. A.J. Brown on the cross. In stride and a first down. The former Titan has his second catch. Blitz coming. It's picked up. Hurts says he's going to go deep. A.J. Brown is there. He's got it. Is he in? Touchdown. All right, so his left foot was in. I'm going to be curious. Was this right toe in? Mm, no. No. Oh, that was a moment you know A.J. Brown was thinking of that play. He was determined that it is an incomplete pass. So after all that, it's second and 15. Hurts. Lofting deep again. Brown is wide open and he catches it. He's going to walk it backwards. Return to the king. Return to the king. He's gone for a while. Now I'm back to claim my throne. Return to the king. Return to the king. Snatch that crown game. It's good to be home. All rise. All rise. All rise. All rise. Royalty feels so alive. Return to the king. Return to the king. AJ Brown's had this game circled. Former team coming into his place. He's been unstoppable. Honestly, our biggest thing is, you know, just keep doing what we're doing, keep being hungry, keep having that dog mentality and never get complacent. Let's just continue to grow, continue to connect, um, and obviously taking it, you know, one game at a time and not looking forward to anything. It's a new dynasty, black diamond shining, still rising to the top, yeah, I'm climbing. To the sky, I see no horizon. Who wanna battle me? Yeah, clash of the titans. Return of the king, return of the king. Was gone for a while, now I'm back to claim my throne. Return of the king, return of the king. Snatch that crown, yeah, it's good to be home. All rise, all rise, all rise, all rise. Royalty feels so alive. Return of the king, return of the king. Now everybody put your hands in the sky. That'll do it. The Eagles are 11 and 1. For the fourth time in their history, after a 35 to 10 demolition of the Titans here in Philadelphia, Hertz was incredible again. Four total touchdowns. AJ Brown, 119 yards and two touchdowns against his former team. Hey Jordan, how's it going? Hey Jordan, how you doing? I'm doing fine, man. Hey, Merry Christmas, man. <laughs> hey, it's on Rick. Hey, how's it going, man? Merry Christmas, it's on Rick. Hey, but uh, I was just trying to see like what y'all think. Like, you know, with us. Is it more like ad lib stuff? Yeah, we're yeah, just trying to. Much. So the whole vibe of it is supposed to be kind of like we're at like a bar. We're snowed in, and we're just singing some Christmas songs yeah. in Philadelphia. Make sure you get you guys silent some night. Yeah, get some <clears throat> silent night. Yeah, let's hear that. Go through silent. a couple. Hold on. Well, it's a real <laughs> silent night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Merry Christmas. Hey, son. Merry Christmas. Hey, son. Merry Christmas. <laughs> PG, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? One of my favorite tr Christmas to the oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey Philly, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Be good, Philly. Santa's coming to town. Oh boy, that was yeah, too sweet. <laughs> that was too sweet. That was cool. The Christmas album came together. I can't remember if it was uh, Connor, Connor Barwin, or, or Jason Kelsey that kind of just popped the idea in and. 
you know, first it was just our, uh, you know, shits and giggles and, you know, not really serious, just, just for fun. And then once we started recording and we, you know, rocked up to Connor Barwin's house and he's, she got the full production set there, you know, we're filming stuff. I said, well, this is really happening. Oh. Yeah, South Philly! Yeah, Point Breeze! <laughs> Dasher, Pantser, Prancer, Vixit, Comet, Cubit, Donner, Blitz. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah. What? And, you know, this kind of just snowboarded into what we have now. A full blown up vinyl record. You know, you can find it online too once, once we release it, so. Now that's a big play sling. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was great. I oh hope that was good. <laughs> Please just do that exact yeah. thing yeah. right yeah. there. Dang, you guys sound terrible. <laughs> I need to be on here. <laughs> hey, that was too personal, man. That was I know, too, hey, too personal. Hey, listen, listen, I'm not, listen, oh. listen, I'm not a lead singer. I'm, I'm like, well, well, right now you are. Background. <laughs> you guys, you guys want to sing backups on Santa Claus is Coming to Town? There we go. My favorite song was one I actually didn't sing on, and it was uh, Blue Christmas. Lane and Jason sing on that one, and that's my favorite of the album. Uh-oh. All right, Philly, you better be good. Santa's got his eye on us. Be good now, Philly. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> All right, come on now, everybody. Sing it with me one more time. Let's give it the old. Oh, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's incredible.